the Smithsonian National Zoological Park in Washington, D.C., the resident elephants are a big draw for visitors. They are also a vital part of a research program at the zoo devoted to understanding a common pathogen that can kill the pachyderms. It's called endotheliotropic herpes virus, or EEHV. I get calls all the time from zoos, um, you know, our cap is a little bit off, and it's just something simple like they didn't want to treat. And until they get older, you know, it's just a constant worry. Herpes virus infections can be lethal to elephant calves. So every week, Erin Latimer screens blood samples sent in from zoos and circuses around the country to identify such infections early. We've discovered that if we um, screen the elephant calves weekly, we can detect EHV virus in the blood even before symptoms occur. Healthy adult elephants can harbor latent infections and may risk transmitting the virus to vulnerable calves through trunk secretions. To look for viral shedding, keepers here have trained Ambika and other elephants at the zoo to accept a squirt of saline into the trunk. She then swashes it around inside and expels what amounts to an elephantine snot rocket. That saline will have um, cells from the inside of the trunk and it will also have virus if it's being shed. Latimer then tests the solution for viral DNA. If an elephant tests positive, keepers can mount a close watch on the animal, especially if there are calves in the herd. It does seem like, although it's not proven, that when um, the older elephants shed in their trunk secretions, that may be how the younger calves get exposed to it for the first time. Latimer now regularly tests samples from about a dozen elephant calves around the country. When caught early, the young animals can often be saved by intense supportive care and with antiviral drugs for human herpes viruses. As soon as we say, you know, there is a um, low level of viremia, the EHV in the blood, um, they increase the monitoring. Herpes virus once killed nearly 20% of U.S. born aged elephant calves. But thanks to increased surveillance, there has only been one EEHV caused death in the U.S. in the last seven years.